Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it And stay with it I'm okay with it When they come to me, they don't play with it Hello sweeties, welcome to or back to my channel. It's so good to have you and today we're doing Beauty Forever. So let's open the box and see what we got. So inside is the wig, of course itself. We'll get into that in just a minute. You also get a dust bag, a melt belt, and they also give you a goodie bag. And inside you get four HD wig caps, lashes, another melt belt, a fake scalp strip, and a brush. So let's go ahead and get into this hair, honey. This is a seven by five closure wig, 24 inches. It comes with pre-cut lace and has pre-bleached knots, okay? It has a beautiful flow to it. The knots, as you can see, are itty bitty and already bleached. As you know, this wig is meant to be wear and go friendly. Just throw it on. You can see that pre-cut lace. It's giving beginner friendly and we love that over here. Let's get into the construction. You see the seven by five closure, two combs in the front, a glueless band that is removable and you can also adjust it. It has one comb in the back and and a wig grip strip in the back, so it's very secure. So this is what the water wave pattern was looking like straight out of the box, and it was very soft to touch. So let's move into the installation process. I'm gonna use my lace tint spray to go ahead and prep my lace, make it as close to my skin color as possible. I wanna go ahead and apologize for the lighting in this video. It was a bit wicked. I don't know what was going on, but we're gonna keep it pushing, okay? So now you're gonna use a cream contour or a cream foundation that is your skin tone. Just cover your cap where you know it's gonna show through the lace because we wanna give scalp girl, okay? So now that the wig is on, I'm going to prep the hairline because we prep the cap, we prep the lace, but the very edge of that hairline has to be prepped as well. Okay, I just use the same brush that I use for my wig cap, just so everything starts to marinate. I'm going in with my got to be because I do love a good melt. And these seven by five sometimes, the way my head is shaped, the very end tabs kind of flap a little bit more than I like. So this is just a good way to make sure everything is down and looking good. And I didn't have to hold them down. I just put the band around and when you take it off, it's gonna be laid, I promise, okay? Just trust the process, girl. Sometimes it goes through like a little crazy phase, but you just gotta keep with it and I promise you the end result will be a chef's kiss, okay? Okay, so this is how we're looking. Not bad, not bad. Now I'm going to go in with my, with some kind of comb. It doesn't matter what kind it is. Just to loosen up anything that might have got crunchy with the got to be. We want everything to be soft and touchable, okay? And again, hit it with that brush if you see a little cast. Sometimes taking off that melt belt, you will create a white cast. You know, where things were stuck down and you pull it off and you're getting this white, dusty look. Use that foundation brush to make sure everything is staying in line. So now we're gonna get into the baby hairs. I never really focus on this part because I don't think anyone cares, but recently, I did have, you know, a subby that was like, can you, you know, sometimes focus more on the baby hair? So this isn't the best video for that, but since I was doing them, I left it in this time. Um, I didn't really focus that much on them because I know a lot of it wasn't gonna show the way I was gonna have it styled. But as you can see, I use my hot comb. We want the hairs that are supposed to be down to be down. We want the hairline to be separated. We wanna create that space around the baby hair that's giving scalp as if you parted it with your own hair. I go in with my mini flat iron and I curl it away from me. I know that looks absolutely ridiculous, but I curl it away from me. And then I use, for my human hair, I will use got to be, or I will use gel, just because it's, it's once you put it on, it lays it down. 
and I just start to swoop and you can see that because it's curled it just kind of already goes with the flow right and I want to say that this lace is HD baby it is see-through it is thin it is delicate so really with <laughs> lace this thin you might even want to do a ball cap but um, we, we kept it simple and easy but you see like it's so simple because the hairs are already bumped and once they they start to be calm they just fall into line it's so simple and easy and I'm also going to stop fast forwarding as much in my videos and just do timestamps because I genuinely want people to you know be able to follow along with my videos and learn and I know as a beginner sometimes you really need things at regular speed so you can kind of feel better about yourself and you can move slower in the beginning you know you just need that you know so I'm going to stop fast forwarding as much and just kind of let you guys really see the process of how I get from beginning to end so now I'm just using a little bit of styling foam to you know get the hairline looking more slick and styled I decided with this hair I really wanted to do like two braids in the front they kind of start off as cornrows if you will and then they just go into like a loose braid they're not perfect you know I did have on nails and I'm already not a perfect braider but it was something different a little fun you know kind of bohemian just really relaxed look so um yeah I'm gonna let you guys watch it working on a weekend like usual way up in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas call me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, I tell you it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too flush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. Know you see my text, baby, please say something. Fine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? So now that I've gotten both of the braids done in the front, I'm going to take a wax stick and just make it even flatter. I mean, this wig is already super flat to my head, so you really don't have to do this step if you don't want. But I kind of just wanted to make it super close to the head um, to give it some more naturalness. Okay, so now it's time to get that curl pattern back right after fussing with the hair. I use Lotta Body or any kind of wrapping or setting foam. I prefer that than mousse because mousse gets on the harder side, it has a hole to it. And I like for my curly hair to look soft and if it gets a little bit, you know, um, fluffy, that's fine with me. 
so when it's cold outside this is what i do because i don't want to drench my hair it's not like in the summertime where you wet it and you go outside it's gonna dry really quick and all that you know it's cold outside and you don't want to get sick girl um so i use the wrapping foam because it's pretty much the same thing and i will even mix the wrapping foam with a tap bit of water if i feel that i need to just to give it even more slip but that is what i do and the styling foam dries super quick So we're all finished this is the final result and i'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this hair i feel like the quality of the hair is definitely there i didn't get a lot of shedding or tangling with this hair um super duper lightweight and the lace oh look at this how could you ever hate the lace on this wig super thin and delicate like i said um which gives that really realistic look but yes this is it I cannot complain She's so cute of course the link will be down in the description below don't forget to subscribe like comment share and hit the bell and until next time stay sweet working on a weekend like usual way up in the deep end like usual niggas where they passed us they doing too much haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up